Okay, so we need to talk about the absolutely insane AI news that dropped this week. Because honestly, the AI industry is moving at breakneck speed right now. Make sure you subscribe because this stuff is changing by the day and you don't want to miss it. First up, Midjourney just completely shocked everyone by launching their V1 video model. And guys, this is huge. They're finally entering the video generation space that's been dominated by companies like Runway and Pika Labs. Here's what's wild about Midjourney's approach. They're calling it image to video, which means you still create images like normal in Midjourney, but now you can hit an animate button to make them move. The crazy part, they're generating four five second videos for about the same cost as an upscale, which is 25 times cheaper than what the market has been charging before. They've got automatic animation settings that just make things move, plus manual controls where you can describe exactly how you want the scene to develop. And get this, you can extend these videos up to four times, basically giving you 20 second clips. David Holes, Midjourney's founder, is already talking about real-time open world simulations as the end goal. This is just the beginning. And next, let's talk about something that completely flew under most people's radar. Eni AI from MacPaw. This isn't just another chatbot. This is what they're calling a computer being, an AI assistant that actually understands your Mac and can perform complex tasks for you in the background. Eni can scan for threats, auto-enhance and send photos, polish your writing without switching windows, transcribe meetings, schedule follow-ups, and even auto-connect you to VPNs when you join new Wi-Fi networks. The idea is that it learns your habits and offers help proactively. It's like having a digital coworker who already knows your routine and jumps in before you even ask. Plus, it's privacy-focused, doing much of its processing locally, so your data isn't shipped off to the cloud. Right now, it's in beta through Setapp for Mac users, and it feels like a peek at the next-gen desktop AI, blending productivity with intuitiveness. No more accidental tab jail or copy-paste rabbit holes. This could change the way we work, especially for power users and creators. But wait, there's more. Let's talk Minimax M1, the open-source LLM that's rewriting long context performance. Chinese startup Minimax just dropped Minimax M1, a 456 billion parameter mixture of experts model with a context window of 1 million tokens. That's massive, about 6,000 pages, and it extends to 4 million tokens at inferencing time. Using a novel lightning attention hybrid, seven linear attention layers per softmax block, and a 32 expert MOE setup, they trimmed compute costs by about 25% versus rivals while still matching performance benchmarks like MMLU and RL tasks. They trained it in just three weeks on 512 H800 GPUs for around $535 gay dollars, a crazy low price compared to GPT-4 scale training. And yes, it's fully open sourced. Code and weights are now on GitHub and Hugging Face, meaning anyone can use a real long context LLM on premise. This is huge for privacy centric teams, enterprises that need full control or devs building AI systems with memory spanning entire legal contracts or books. We're talking next level long form AI here. And finally, TikTok is going all in on AI creation with their Symphony Creative Studio updates. They've just launched three brand new features that are going to change how content gets made. Image to video, text to video, and showcase products. With image to video, creators can turn any static product photo into a fully dynamic clip. Think bottles pouring, clothes flowing, as soon as the scroll starts. And text to video, you just type your prompt and boom, a whole TikTok style clip generates. No cameras required, no stock footage. Then there's showcase products, digital avatars that hold your products, try on clothes or demo your app, all generated automatically. What's really slick is the integration. Symphony is now in Adobe Express and WPP Open, meaning creators and marketers can build TikTok ready content inside the tools they already use, localize it, dub it, optimize it, all without jumping platforms. Brands like Danone are already using it to roll out mass scale ads with minimal manual work. TikTok is basically turning content generation into a native feature of the marketing pipeline. And that's a wrap on this week's wild ride through the AI multiverse. So if you wanna stay ahead of the curve and not hear it secondhand, stick around, hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next one.
It's only getting weirder from here.